guys. We're going to base it in Seattle. Seattle. Cause us a little rivalry with the Vancouver Canucks. There is no rivalry because the Canucks are fucking terrible. But we'll cause a rivalry nevertheless. So, question. What? How do we want to actually wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. What? what I forgot to do was check if we are the most recent roster update. Apparently. I'm not going to create every player that should be in the real draft, but I'm going to, for the most part, have like. The Assistant GM needs to fix the stream settings. For what? It didn't switch to NHL. For whatever reason. Okay. But you can keep going. Alright, I'll keep. I just got to go up to the current roster. Roster. Active roster. I don't know when we last played this. I updated it. Okay, I'm going upstairs. April 10th. Yes, let's download that one. That's the most recent roster. Alright, so at least players like Rasmus Deleem will actually not be scrub piles of shit. Ah, oh, Cheryl. All right, let's begin our franchise mode as the 32nd NHL team. We're going to base our rogue operations out of Seattle. We're not going to do all the crazy franchise mode stuff because we're really not going to play. <clears throat> this is my assistant GM has left the room, so it's just me, just me here. You know, just just hanging out, getting my shit done. Thirty-two team expansion draft. So I guess Vegas is exempt from. All right, so let's begin by making ourselves an NHL team. We're going to, like I say, base our team out of Seattle. We're going to call ourselves, we're going to call ourselves the Seattle, hmm, what are we going to call ourselves? We're going to call ourselves the, we're going to call ourselves the La, no, 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 no. We're going to call ourselves, what are we going to call ourselves? I really don't know what to call us. We're going to call us, you know what, we're going to call ourselves. The Lions. Or the, the Devils. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, uh, do we have, like... Oops. What's the play-by-play -play name options? We're going to call ourselves... We call ourselves the Mustangs? All right, we can call ourselves the Mustangs. We're going to call ourselves the Seattle Mustangs. For some reason. All right, the Mustangs. And we're going to say, space our city out of Seattle. Seattle, here we are. Team nickname, the Stangs. Abbreviation, S E A. Uh, we're gonna call go Key Bank Arena. Not Key Bank Arena. Done. All right, we're gonna just have ourselves the top because why not? It really doesn't matter because we're not gonna be playing with those things anyway. As I said, the assistant GM has left the room. Don't know where he went, but he went somewhere. Went to fix the stream stuff, I guess. All right, where would a good Mustang type logo be? This would probably be our best bet. That will probably be our best bet. Yeah, unfortunately, that's probably our best bet. Yeah, that sucks, but it's okay. 
And we're going to base our colors. We're going to call it be red, black, and white. Pretty decent already. All right, there we go. We're going to make our jersey style black, red, and white. Oops. Oh, shoot. Black. All right, we're going to be black, red, and white. So what are we? We are the Seattle Mustangs. Because why not? The team uniform. This is just going to be generic. We're not going to have an alternate jersey either. We're just going to apply the team colors. Boom. Ooh, that's already actually pretty decent. I like that. All right, the away jersey is probably the same thing. Apply the team colors. That's pretty boring, but I don't care. We're really just... We're not really going to play the game. We're just simming. Simming. The arena, again, I really don't care. Only thing I could minorly care about is maybe the goal horn and the song. And I can't do the song because copyright, so we're just going to do the horn. And the light. sick anyway so then the mustangs and then win we'll just have the dudes doing the salute because why not again the whole real purpose is to just have actually oh wait yes we do want the intro because there's a prop that we want to use because we're the mustangs we can use this <laughs> <laughs> it's a horse <laughs> All right, interesting. All right, so I think that's all good and dandy. Mascot, oh. Well, I mean, may as well. Really kind of just boring. We're gonna call him Stang. Why not? And we're gonna give him number zero. We're gonna show our mascot because if we're gonna play the game at least once, we may as well. Do we have a horse head? Looks like out there. Do we? Oh, we do. Nice. What? <laughs> this This is unsettling. Look at this. Look at this. What? It's unsettling. Isn't that hot? No. I'd rather just like this. That's better. This is better. Mascot body color. I'm just going to apply the team colors. There we go. That's better. All right. So the Seattle Mustangs are ready to take action. I do, I want to create a minor league team, but I just don't want to spend all our time customizing a team. So we're just going to get straight to the expansion draft. So I, what's our plan of attack? Do we push for the Stanley Cup right away or do we build through the draft and become a powerhouse in like three seasons? Or more than three seasons probably, but like what's our plan of attack? I mean, we tried going with the draft on our personal and it, it kind of worked. It just, yeah, it just didn't go as, okay, part of the freaking, you know, we're going to have to kick out the further, furthest, and that's Arizona. Arizona's getting relegated to the Central Division. We're coming to play in the, we are the, we're right next to Vancouver. It just wouldn't make sense when you actually think about it. Okay, we're going to have that off. GM firing. We're not going to get fired. I'd like to keep that. I don't want that. I think everything else is fine. All right. I think everything else is fine. Start our career. Keep the salary cap on. And here we go. We are going to build our teams with the expansion draft and sim a season. Because why not? Oh, well, what didn't you do with the salary cap off? That's too easy. It really and, is. And you get no good free agents. They're all like 80 overall at best. Be the Boston Red Sox of hockey. Freaking buy all our players and like get all the best players it really would feel like baseball baseball needs to get a salary cap i actually wrote an essay or not an essay a persuasive speech on why there should be salary caps in the mlb and i got 100 percent on it really mm -hmm. 
What was this for English? Yeah. I got 100% on the essay. Or not essay, freaking persuasive essay. I got 100%, so it was good shit. All right, so. We. So should we start from the back and build out and pick, like, from goalies and then work out? Because I don't want to, like, pick team by team. It's always good to get a goalie. Start with a goalie. And I usually, I've played through the expansion drafts and stuff, and I know what goalie we can take, which is good. All right. We can take, cool, cool. Oh, no, I don't want to pick from Anaheim yet. I mean, picking Vatnin would be the ideal idea. But bat, yeah, I don't know. All right, we're going to start by picking on Columbus and take what do they got? Corpusalo. Corpusalo, obviously, we take. He's medium elite. What a beast. If we want to really build for the Stanley Cup in like three seasons, we could use him to actually trade for a solid goalie who's ready to start now. But I don't want to like... Because I might want to take a Vegas approach and try and build our team quick. Like, in under three years. Let's just auto-generate the picks, and if we don't like the pick, we'll switch it. All right, so here's what we got. So from the Ducks, we got Vatten, and I think they just picked, like, the best player available for that position. <laughs> so should we start building young? I'm going to actually, we're going to make it a young team. If we're going to build young and build through the draft and stuff, we're going to start with young guys. We're going to get Josh Manson from the Ducks. McGinn? I don't know. No. No, not happening. No. I want guys who at least have potential to grow. It's probably going to be a crappy team right out of the gate, but you know. All right. We don't want to get crappy guys, though. We don't want decent guys. So we're pretty weak on the right side. So we'll get Jimmy Hayes. Wait, I forgot to check his salary. Is it, like, insane? Actually, that's okay. I'll take that. Dos Luriers, eh. He's the best probably you can get. Michael Furland will probably get on the left side. Yeah, because we're very... Or no, wait. Who did we just... Oh, crap. We just solidified. Like, we just got more left wings and didn't really think about the right side. Christopher Stieg would suck. Now we'll keep Berlin because berlin has got potential to grow. Cam Ward, well... Cam Ward? What's the goalies we got? Him, Cam Ward, and Newverth. We could have, like, Newverth start, get Cam Ward out of there and switch for an actual player. Get, like, Lee Stepniak got to get some better in leadership what oh okay so we'd have to draft another goalie that we'd want file paka oh no not this guy again he was a mess when we drafted him the first time uh dennis rasmussen he would get us help down the middle we have 11 defensemen he's probably like one of our worst ones and he asks for like a crap ton of money that's not a bad looking team on the back end. It's pretty solid. Carl Soderberg, overpaid as fuck. I'd rather anybody else. <clears throat> Eric Jelenaz, Patrick Weirkosh, build like that. So I don't want to take another left wing. Nieto. Nieto? Yeah, he's a left wing. I'd rather either. I'd rather like take a defenseman. We'll take Jelenaz. Corpusala, we're taking Mackenzie. We can switch him out because he's a left wing and we have a surplus. Hemschke would be like an albatross. <laughs> albatross of a contract. I would rather like one of these guys. We'll take Johns. Too many defensemen on the back end, but that's okay because we're probably going to get rid of someone else anyway. We're going to get like Sprawl, get him out of there. Get like, oh my god, Abdelkader's contract's going to be a mess when they have to deal with that. Like later on, Quallet. Hmm. Uh, Glendening. He's a right wing, but he's like signed for five years. What's for a right wing fourth liner? You're signing him five years. What kind of contract is that? Oh, Red Wings, Red Wings, Red Wings. Pouliot. Another guy we could probably try and switch out for a right side man. Like Pitlick. Yeah, I'd rather get like Pitlick. I top nine. And he's got a couple years to grow. And we probably can build... The, what the... Why are we picking Hodges? Excuse me. Why are we picking him? Petrovic, I'd rather, like, pick. Of course. Petrovic. Again, we're going to have way too many defensemen. And we got rid of another center. That's fun. We're going to have to pick a center. 
Andre off would probably be our best bet because we don't want to get old people. They're on terrible contracts. So we'll get Andre off. Brodeen we can keep. We'll build around him on the back end. Brodeen, Brodeen. Shaw. That's not happening. Going to get Denault down the middle. Phil Denault. That was Obviously. So Ryan Pulak. He's a low top four, but he doesn't ha Actually, I'd keep him. He's 22. I would keep him around. I'll keep him around. He's one of our... But then again, we can get Calvin DeHaan, uh -huh. but he'll only grow like one year. I'll take the gamble on Pulak growing. Pumpol, we don't need. Yeah, we don't really don't need it. Natcomb, we're keeping. Smith Pelly, we got to keep. MacArthur, we can get rid of. What a beast Smith Pelly was in the playoffs. Mm hmm. Friggin' one helped win them the cup. All right, we're going to get Wingles. Solidify the right side a little bit. New birth, okay. Ian Cole. Starter. Ian Cole's a little bit of a shit show. So we're going to. I want to get Dumoulin, but I feel like he's going to ask through the roof for contracts. It's Maybe. either him or Cole. Yeah. Uh, we trade Dumoulin. We'll go for Kuhn Cackle because, like, he's a bottom six forward, but, like, he's. I'm not. Yeah. Dylan. I, like, Yaskin's fine. Oh, I think we're solidified everywhere. Connor Carrick, I want to get Connor Brown instead. Connor Brown's a little better. He's on the right wing. There we go. Magna. Oh my god, a... Willie D's bitch boy. Oh goodness. Um Miller. We're just gonna take a minor league goalie so we can get rid of Bachman. Oh no. We're gonna we're only just gonna pick Bachman. We'll probably just like see I'm only doing that so we can get Cam Ward off and then put like Stepniak in. There we go. And now we could probably I think we're still we're set. We'll just pick up a center for agency. What the what? No, we're not doing that. No, that's not happening. It's not taking all of there. Thank you, Wilson. Tom. Oh, I like Tom Wilson, actually. Another beast. But that just means now we have to drop another right wing that we don't like. Uh, okay, we're going to drop Coon Cackle and see if we can get a center. See what have Matt one. Cullen. He's like Terrible. Old. We're not dropping him. How about we drop... Wingles. See if we can drop Wingles. See if we can find a center. Not the best team we're ever. Actually, Dezingle, that's better. Yeah, Dezingle's better. Because he's got potential to grow. And now we can drop maybe. We can see if we can try and get rid of Jimmy Hayes. Because I don't want Jimmy Hayes on the team. I'm only picking him if we have to. I want another center. Dominic Moore's old as hell. Mm, we'll get Schaller. He's probably not going to make the team anyway. We've got players that are better than he is. So, anyway. Free agency, please. <laughs> yep. All right, so this is the team we're going to stick with. We're not going to be that good first year. Let's be real, but we'll be okay. Finish the draft. Okay. We've got Newverth going to mentor Corpusalo, unless Corpusalo's value is so high. Because, like, when I play through expand like this GM mode, Corpusalo only turns out to be, like, 84, 85. So, like... If I trade him now while his stock is high, maybe get a good goalie who's proven. All right, so the NHL entry draft. Okay, who are we going to draft? All right, so the Avalanche have the number one pick, and we have the fourth pick in the draft. So we could use that fourth pick and maybe something else to try and trade up for number one and have a center to build around because that's the big idea is trade for the number one center. Like, we have nothing of value. <laughs> okay, we have absolutely we have... nothing. Boy, we really need to build. Do we ever? We need to build around this team. Like, build. What about our goalies? Like, Corpus Allo's value is high enough. We could use him as a piece for the trade. I can't believe we picked Bachman. Well, what else were we going to do? <laughs> Bachman. I could try and get this to go through then you're gonna need to find a goalie out of like a ass. goalie of the future because new birth's not gonna cut it or try for corpus Allo. maybe we could try and use this pick and like a pick a good chunk of years down the line when we're like ready to compete or at least we hope so 2022 all right let's see if that goes through no we're not 
going to trade every single pick and every single thing. What Just difficulty is the trading on? Medium. Good luck, I know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cobra, we're going to try and dump your ass on contract. Dump your ass all on the street. Damn it. Mm. All right, so the avalanche didn't work. Let's see if we can go to the number two pick. I just want a solid player to build around. And I know Nolan Patrick will get taken probably the, like, the second or third pick. I know we're getting a solid player, whoever we pick is fourth. I know Pedersen will definitely be available at that time, I think. Because they usually take, like, Heiskanen. All right. Should we just work, settle for Pedersen? Settle for Pedersen. I mean, not really settling, but, like, he's a center we could build around. All right. Sim. Sim user pick. Okay. He sure, obviously. Patrick, obviously. Okay. So, we're going to take Elias Pedersen as our man of the future. Yes. And he is a center playmaker, so that's all good. We're just going to maybe need to get a sniper on the wing. Like how bad he is. Elias Anderson, he's more overall, but he's a top six forward at best, so I'm satisfied with that pick. They have Callan Foot around at this area, so I'm going to try and trade for the number nine pick. If we can get the number nine pick and select Callan Foot, we can actually build around like we can build around a franchise defenseman or not franchise but like a defenseman to build around solid defenseman a solid defenseman to build around and then just a solid core we're going to try and dump Tyler Myers on his ass this could be an albatross but this is worse uh, that's not happening cap. but he's got three more years on his contract we can't do that Dylan maybe that would push him over the cap, but we're going to have to trade something else. I kind of want that pick. I would sacrifice a second round pick. In, like, in the future. Yeah, like three years down the line or two. Like, yeah, like 2020. No. Nah. Um, okay. Very difficult to trade. Let's send to user pick. And see what. So the New York Islanders offer us that. If we can like get a pick that's higher, I would settle. Or like get another pick. We get two picks. We can be smart about our drafting. If we could build through the draft, that'd be so much better. Like try and trade for the third round pick. No, trade for the third round pick. They don't want to trade it though. And then we'll trade maybe our seventh round pick. Okay, they don't want that. Never mind, screw you guys. All right, so we have that pick. Let's check how the rest of the round went. So yeah, Callan Foot, elite defenseman, obviously. All right, so Skinner would have been a goalie to build around, but he would have just been too young. Skinner. Oh, we could have taken him, Lukanen. But again, he would have taken a while, right? Project. Chitol, early pick in the second round. Okay, round number two. Round number two, indeed. Okay, so. Fringe starter, fuck that. Timothy Liljegren, he's available, we're going to oh, take yeah, him. Yeah, 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 take him. Take him, there you go. Now we got our franchise defenseman to build around. Such a cheese. It is such a cheese. He's so, he's good in this game. That's the thing, he's good in this game. Like, he became a 90 overall for our team. When I when we played on the Vegas GM mode that you not none of y'all seen. We probably still have to save. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we have a third round pick. We only have one pick every round. So we just have to make what's best of it. An unknown. I don't trust that. Let's see like my potential. What potential? Interesting. Top four defenseman. Golden. That doesn't seem convincing, so we're we not going to... We to the fifth round. We could take the unknown Canadian kid. Good old Canadian kid. And get a high top nine. Ian Scott, I think he's projected as a starter. We could take him. And trade him if we don't feel he can do his job. 
Yeah. Let's take it. Why not? And or keep him. Ian Scott, a friend starter. All right. Rolling out the tanks. <laughs> Vegas, sorry. Just take him and go away. You, uh, you immediately trade him. I don't like the pick. And we'll trade you like scraps. Coburn. We'll trade you Coburn's yeah. contract. We just wanted to dump salary. We're going to become players in the free agency, so... Sorry, Coburn, you weren't worth it anyway. You weren't really going to make the team. I was going to probably have you sitting. Okay, so we have another crack at this. Mm. You know what? Let's take the unknown. Yeah, no? Yeah. Let's take the unknown. Low top nine, that's not bad. You could develop into a fourth line center. Nice hair, though. Or third line center at best. That's solid. If developed correctly. Better than Ian Scott's fringe starter shit. <laughs> All right. Remember, we gave up. Uh, the Bokoff, I feel, was like... There was a Nabokov or a player here. Korosegkov. There was a player that, like, was in the later rounds. But I don't know where he is. It was, it was an elite, and they troll us with that pick. Who was his name? Connor Timmins is a solid player, like the round he's taken. I want to say it's that Nabokov. Something in my gut tells me it's the Bokov. I got a gut feeling it's that guy. Or it's Korosenkov. I think it's Korosenkov. You gonna go for it? Yeah, I think it's Korosenkov. Well, actually, that's not bad. Top nine. I mean, better than nothing. High top nine at that. I'll try and... It might be that Nabokov guy. I'm not going to trade our pick, but, like, I'm not going to trade our pick we just made, but I'm going to, like... Give him fucking... I'll give him... I don't know. Uh, I want to do another salary cap dump, but I kind of can't. Uh, hmm. We'll trade you, like... Fourth round pick, eons later. There you go. Merry Christmas. Nope. <laughs> Fine, we'll trade you a fifth next year or in 2020. Wow, you suck. Fifth. There you go. There we go. Trade our future away just for a chance to take a player who might not even be good. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll trade him away. Okay. We're one of those people that, like, really just are on top of it. Okay. Something tells me it's this guy. It's Nabokov, I think. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, no. No. Oh. Sorry, Nabokov. I gotta pan you out of here. He what no. was that pick? No fucking value either no freaking chance oh. geeky was like Egh. stepniak shawler all right that trade went out the freaking tubes sent to the use i'm gonna kick myself if they freaking take a player that wasn't the same guy i'm gonna kick myself Eh, low elite. Eh. <laughs> enforcer? Bruh. Calm down with your low enforcer shit. Back is. Yeah, I'm gonna take that guy. Mm hmm. Exact 70. Alright, let's take anybody who's projected in the fifth round. We're just gonna select based off potential. We're gonna take this guy. Bruh, what? Well, we have two seventh defensemen waiting for us. All right, I feel like someone took an elite in that time. Someone took an elite. I know they did. Don't even freaking. No, okay. There's that elite still waiting to be picked. Who is it? Oh my goodness. Oh no. I don't know. We're picking them based off potential. Actually, we're gonna take that. Taratukin. 
There's that terror too. Raise down there. Yeah, whatever. We're just going based on round. We'll take terror Tukin. Back up. <laughs> Back up goalie of the future right there. All right. Oh my goodness. These picks have just not been a good draft. Besides Pedersen, this hasn't been a good... And Liljegren, I guess. This hasn't been a good draft. All right, we're going to take you. Well, that was a crappy draft. Time to build prospects with the free agency prospects. I'm only going to sign Pedersen to a contract because there's a actual possibility he may make the team out of camp. <laughs> this team? Yeah. <laughs> resign phase. Okay. So we got to resign Connor Brown. All right. We got to sign Josh Manson. Not yet, actually. We're going to sign Jelenas. Okay, calm your shit. You're not worth that. Oh, wait. Walk you like 2.4. Tom Wilson. Connor Brown. See, you're reasonable. Walk you like 1.5. Petrovic, I guess we'll give you like 2.2. Furlan. Again, you're fair. We'll give you 1.5. Dzingle, we'll give you like 1.5. Okay, you're not actually. 1.5. Burmistroff, you're not worth like anything, so we'll just give you that. Andreoff, you're definitely not worth it, but we'll sign you anyway. Hit like we would let you walk in free agency, but we kind of could use you. Desmarais, Rasmussen, you would go to free agency if we didn't sign you, so we'll sign you like $1 million. We have so much salary cap to play with, we could instantly become players after this season, or like after this free agency. I'm going to sign Bachman just, all right, and we're going to sign you to a entry level contract. Actually, we're going to do the same to you as well. We're going to give you an entry-level deal. Korosenkov. Mm. Mm. No, we're not going to give you that. We we'll give you a couple of years. He'll get, he needs a year's seasoning, I think. All right, advanced day. All right, let's see. You. Berlin. All right, so we, I think, I'm just trying to remember who wanted to go to free agency market. I think it was Pitlick. Pitlick wanted to go to the free agency market. He can fuck off if he wants. Jelenas, we'll give you like 2.5. You will give you like 1.6. You will give you like 1.6. And I think that's everybody. And Pit, like, I think Pit, like, wanted to go to the free agency, so we'll let him go. And we're just going to have to build to the free agency. Which sucks, but I think we'll have the cap to do it. Berlin and Zingle and Jelenas. Okay, so we got everybody we need to get to the free agency. Who is the big ticket? I'm not going to sacrifice our picks, though, especially if we play like garbage. All right, here we go. Signing free agents. Who? Schultz is the top guy. Hmm. He's 26, so he's got potential. That'd be fair. Burkowski's an RFA. You're an RFA. You're a UFA. Dupree. Yeah, I might go for Schultz if we really, if we we're really into building a team to compete next season, we could we could get him. What do we got for prospects? If we want to take that route, go for like guys like him. Be like 925 a two way. Dupree, Pitlick, Anderson. What? Bro, what? Oh, is he an RFA? He is an RFA, I think. Oh, that would take a third round pick to go for him. No, I'm not going to do that. Not quite worth it. Connolly could strengthen our right wing. But Bo Bennett basically is just one overall less and he's asking for less. We'll give you 
one million for like two years. Marcus Felino. We just want depth players. Cousins. He would be solid down the middle. He needs a contract though. Samuelson. We're just going to kind of build through prospects. Kind of see what we can get. If we can build our prospect pool. Ooh, Ty Ratty. He's right wing, but he's like 72 overall. Still the Rose. Oh my goodness. All right, I don't think there's really anybody enticing anymore. There's like top six Ds. But like only Johansson would be worth it. Goalies? Goalies is our next piece. Not much. Like fringe the, starter. Yeah. Well, we'll take the fringe starters. They have value. They can be pieces for trades. Only picking them up for potential for like on the trade block. Every last one of them. There we go. I think that's good. We're not really going to be, I don't think, serious. Should we pursue Justin Schultz, though? We'd have to drop someone, though, to get him. Someone of... I think if we want to keep him, if we want to go for him, we'd have to drop Tyler Myers. He's our albatross contract. Yeah, that's probably what we have to do, is drop him. Yep. Let's do it. Let's see, one, two... Say we got Schultz three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got so many contracts right now. We're gonna have to trade probably him and him to a team, both of them at the same time, to alleviate the cap room. We'll trade them to a team that wants them. The Buffalo Sabers would take Dylan in a trade. What would the say? What would we want? What do we need? What's our biggest need? Defense certainly isn't. The right side's actually stronger than I thought. Center. The left side yeah, could use some strength. And the centers are actually half decent. So we could settle for what we got on the center, but we need a left wing. So we're going to go for a left wing. Evander Kane's shit. Contract. <laughs> Buffalo, Calgary. Actually, we could probably trade with teams like Anaheim now that we only would put up Dylan. He would be someone that we could go for. And we could instantly try and re-sign him to a contract. Max Jones would be like a player to build around. We'll keep Nick Ritchie. The Coyotes. Domi. <laughs> Bergevin's 100-year plan in motion. The Borak. We wanted to build for prospects. Calgary. We took, we took their left wing. We might just go for like... Tibu Teravine, how long has he signed for? Two seasons. It's not bad. The Blackhawks, Brandon Sod, no. Don't be Sod. Oh my god. No. The Blue Jackets. We could trade for Jenner. Signed to one year remaining on his contract. I don't want to trade for those kind of players. We need a team that actually wants him. Oilers, they got like nothing. Maroon would be like, yeah, that wouldn't be good. The kitty cats, the cats, I'm afraid not. The kings of the kings. Kempe would be someone to build around. Kempe would uh, have potential. Or go for Peterson. He signed a little longer, and I'm sure he signed for a little more, but he could build around him. Parise is an albatross. This is, yeah, I don't know. When you question your favorite team's methods. We could trade for Kevin Fiala and also put Myers on the block. Or Myers up for trade. Mm -hmm. Myers and Dylan for Fiala. Fiala would be our future left wing. Would that go through? No. And how about... We put up a draft pick, third round pick. There we go. Welcome to the Seattle Mustangs, Kevin Fiala. It was a very lopsided trade. 
on paper. But I think Kevin Fiala's got potential to be someone who's good. And we're actually going to re-sign him to an extension. We're going to sign him while we have him here. He wants an extension, so we're going to bring him on. Let's bring him in for a six-year deal at $3.6 million. It's going to be a bit of a gamble, but... Why is that the Arizona Coyotes logo? Well, that's kind of weird. <laughs> All right, so Kevin Fiala, welcome to the team. And he definitely wants to stick around. He's an RFA anyway, so we retain his rights. And now we pursue Justin Schultz. Five million. If we don't get him, we don't get him. We have cap space, so that'll solidify our team just a hair. I think we're going to build a team who can compete right away. If we can get this guy. If the, we can get the players we want, we're going to compete first year, I think. Accept it, accept it, accept it, accept it, accept it, accept it. Come on, Schultzy. Come on, Schultzy. Come on, Schultzy. Fiala, nice. Nice. We went to Carolina. Went to Edmonton. The fucking Hurricanes. I feel like every other defensive player is taken. No, no. Not, not Del Zaster. I don't no. want him. Or Girardi. They're both a fucking disaster to deal with. All right. Mm. <laughs> Well, this changes our plans. Uh, we got defensemen, though, that we can work with. We're just going to be a young team. All right, let's send to the season. The part everybody's been waiting for. We're going to sim a season and see how it goes. What? We're stuck with Blaine? We might be. We might be stuck with this team. Freaking shitty titties. Bergevin's 100-year plan. It's going to be more like Pilling's 100-year plan. <laughs> Never freaking win the cup at this rate. Although we just started. True. Like we don't ex we didn't expect this going in. And the fact that we already got what we did is good. We got Fiala, who's like could be a left wing stud. And we signed him for six seasons. So if he if he becomes like an eighty four overall player, we got him for six seasons. In that time. And then we got upcoming players like Pedersen and Liljegren. We've got players. Corpo. Yeah, Corposalo. If he doesn't turn to a lump of shit, we got him. I think goaltending could be a glaring issue. If we wanted to compete, I think it all starts with getting a goalie. All right, sure. So this is the team we've got going into this. It's pretty solid, actually. Fiala is a third-line scorer. Third line. We've just got a team full of third-liners. <laughs> Not one... Not one second liner. Oh boy. Defense is a little more solid. This could actually save us a little bit. And then goalies, well, I mean, could be worse. Could be a worse scenario. So, I guess that works. And who's on Donna line? Who's scratched? You two, I guess, sure. Mm hmm. Alright, now let's set some captains. Ooh. Who will our captains be? We're going to unassign everyone, and we're going to have a quick thought process. I think, honestly, if we want a player who's going to lead the charge for this team... It's going to be Furland. No, it's probably going to be Ekholm. I'm going to give Ekholm captaincy. We're going to give the A's to Brodeen. And we're going to give another A to probably... Mm, we're gonna give it to Stepniak. Stepniak is an older player. He deserves at least an A. Don't know. Here we go. So we got preseason. Here we go. So let's, I guess, let's take a look at roster moves. Scratch my beard a little bit. In the system, Andreoff. All right, we're gonna go to the NHL centers. One, two. What? Hey, you two come up here. All right, NHL. And then we're going to go left wings. One, two, three, four, five. No, no. And then on the right wing. Oh, goodness. We don't need all of you. All right. Oh, 
Oh no. Be under the cap. Oh, not this shit. You don't want every player on the team up here. Why is there a minimum cap limit? I don't know. We need players who can come up and like... Basically, we can't call them up. Mm. And, now, and then we'd have to send a skater down for it to work. The skater's fine, but now we gotta like... Alright. Fine, we'll keep the team as is. We're just gonna probably not do well in the preseason. I just don't know what our minor team is going to look like. All right, we're just going to sim through the preseason, and we'll sim to the end of it and see how our team does. Our Burnaby Aces apparently are the minor. Scouting. All right. I'm going to have to look into some offense and maybe some defense. Offense, most importantly. If we get the first overall pick, we're picking Deline. But if we get, like, the third overall pick, we'll be looking at, like, a left wing or like a forward so mediocre in the pretty season so far that's kind of a good year for rookies well duh <laughs> it okay so we didn't really perform too well in the preseason that's okay and we lost to the canucks all right here we go the season will begin let the season commence we take on the pittsburgh penguins at the time, the defending Stanley Cup champions and the Stanley Cup finalists all at once. Kevin Fiala defeats his old team. 1-1-1. One, one, and one. Mm. When our Burnaby Aces are like 0-5. Oh, our minor league team is so shit that... <laughs> our minor league team is shit as well. It's not even that good. We have to scout defensemen as well. Oh, Six nothing. It looks like we're rolling out the tanks. <laughs> Only won a game. Oh. I think we're rolling out the tanks this year. Oh. Well, I mean, we're we three. beat the fucking Coyotes. I just want to. I want to stock up on draft picks. By like putting some of our top commodities out on the trading block. Because we. Stepniak, what a beast. All right, trading block. Who do we got on the block? Oh. Our picks. Why? We're not trading our picks right now. Not anymore. We're going to be trading, like, these guys. Our prospects that we intentionally brought in for the potential purpose of, like, building the team. Brodeen might be an Albatross contract. We'll put them up and see what kind of offers we can get. And we'll put... Mm, there's really no one, eh? We'll put... We'll put... We shouldn't do it, but we'll put Corpusalo on and see what kind of offers we get. We've got, like, some of the hottest commodities on the trading block. Maybe they'll give us something good. I want draft picks. We're stocking up on draft picks. Here we go. Next month. The Capitals. Five I guess one. they capitalized on the opportunity against a terrible team like us. The oh, us goodness leave. gracious. How inept can our team get? That's the fun part to watch. How inept will our team get? 4, 10, we and 2. We can't score any goals. We, look at the team we have. Oh, you, but they can at least score a goal once every game. Well, there's a potential to get a good player in the draft. If we get pick second, we can get like Shreknikov or Sedina. Carl Alsner for our second and third round picks. No. I'm afraid not. 5, 11, and 2. That's just ugly. Two shoutouts this month. Congratulations. We, I don't think we've won a back-to-back -back game yet this year. Come on, beat Tampa. Uh, we've had... Oh. Who? No. no. Go away. Congratulations. We're, we have achieved such ineptitude. We have not won back to back games yet this season. We are 6 15 and 3. We probably hold the worst record in the league. We hold the worst record in the division. 
Congratulations. We have the worst le- le- the record in the league. is leading our team. Congratulations. We currently have the worst record in the league. By four points. We win. I... No, I think my intention is to roll out the oh, tanks. Another shutout. I mean... That's three shutouts. I mean, it's working. Whoever's We're not goal. letting in many goals. We're just not scoring any. Except for that one game. There. Oh, wow. We have back-to-backs. Three in a row. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. How is Vancouver doing that well? Oh, wow. We've gotten consecutive points in consecutive games. Three games in a row we've gotten points. There we go. Now we're looking more like ourselves. Our team still sucks. Jesus. Oh, and then we got a beat down from Florida. The Burnaby Aces aren't doing much better either. They're fucking worse. They're worse, and this is the farm system. We shouldn't be this bad. <clears throat> we are doomed. You blew it. But that was the idea. I told us. I told you we are going to build this team through the draft. Oh, two wins in a row, Dan. Come on. Now's not the time to be freaking streaking. I mean, we still have the worst record in the division. And the league. <laughs> Congratulations! Vancouver's at second. Somehow. Alright, so we still are the worst team in the league at January. Alright, time to roll out the tanks. Pretty much. We are not going to make the playoffs. We'll be lucky to get the 30 wins. We'll be lucky. Like, our big idea is hopefully to get Deline, trade Brodine for a forward, or trade a defenseman for a forward to let Deline come in. Oh, three in a row. Time to go tanking. Four in a row. Five in a row. How inept can we get? It's not over until the tanks come in. We don't want this trade. Stop offering. We lost to the wild. We lost to the Sabres. We have not won in... Okay, there we go. We have lost six in a row and only won twice in the calendar month. <sighs> that is a new level of ineptitude. And I don't think we're going to be the... I feel like we're the worst record in the league by like a landslide. Apparently not quite a landslide. But by five points. That's a good chunk. Especially if we keep sucking. I think the idea is to just keep going tanking. Just keep tanking. Just trade some of our assets away that don't mean much, but enough to get us picks in the draft, and just build through the draft. That's what our idea. That's what our mentality is going to be: is build through the draft. We're going to get a top, probably a top five pick for sure. Probably a top. We're guaranteed fourth pick. So if we don't get, yeah, we got to get something. Probably a top three. And if not, we'll trade for the third pick so we can get Zadina. Oh, boy. This just has not been our year. We lose to the freaking Flyers. We won twice in this count. Okay, three times. Can we reach 20 wins? Is that something that can happen? We have a lot of overtime losses. I'll give them that. We or should have had 28 wins if we won those. We'd still probably be amongst the worst. But no, we'd be mediocre trash. We are 15 points away from the next team in the division and four points apart from the next worst Got team. Colorado's trying to roll out the tanks again. All right, time to trade some players away that really don't mean much. Draft picks. All right, but we're going to try and get them from like teams that like aren't that strong. Colorado. Colorado is one of those teams. We're going to really like try and trade for like fourth round picks though and third round picks because we need to really capitalize on our shit. Hopefully we did the drafting right. Mm-hmm. Scouting. Words. Geeky. Geeky's not going to stick around. You're getting traded for... Never mind. They're like, nope. 
We're not taking this guy. Draft cock block. Alright, you're gonna take this guy too. Goldine. Goldine. Alright, fine. We'll trade you to a team that wants to get. Oh, oh wow, the Hurricanes actually want Geeky. Too bad, they're pretty good. Because they got Schultz. We'll take a third round pick from you. Fine, we'll take a fourth round pick from you. There you go. We're just gonna build through the draft. You have a fourth round pick. Yeah, at we least we're hoping so. We need a third round. Okay. Pick. So we're gonna take. I would like to take Sorella. And put that towards like a late or a, another first. But that's pretty high. Olsen, we could Maybe use. A late first. Olsen we could use for like a team like, like that nobody wants the Avalanche for like a third. Oh. We are gonna get their third round. We want a high third round pick. If we're gonna build through the draft, the idea is to get good players. To balk off, you were a draft shit show. He can go, and along with the other seventh defense. We'll trade. Hmm. Where'd that other guy go? We'll trade Brylin. Oh, I guess he wasn't even a seventh defenseman. He's even more. And we'll trade Sproul. Gonna yeah, trade the Come whole on. friggin' team to the Avalanche for a third round pick. Wow. They won't even take our discount bin. <laughs> Just <laughs> miss me with that shit, they say. Miss me with that terrible shit. Does anyone want to give up their third? We're not giving you that much. Calm down. No discount bin. Thank you. All right, fine. We will do it in the draft. We just traded away. I don't know what we just traded. What did we just trade? We traded trade like something for a fourth. We traded like scraps. They're not some big trades being made. We're gonna take one of our freaking fringe starters we have. Like we have a bunch of them coming up our asshole. And we're gonna trade them to like a team for another draft pick. We'll Probably take, get a third. We'll take like hopeful and give them a third. Maybe a fourth. Hopefuls will be more likely to give you their third. There we go. So we got a third round pick. That's solid. We will build more through the draft, but as of right now, we're just going to simply end the year, and then we'll do some stuff with the draft. And then that will probably end the live stream. All right, to the end of the year, because I know we're not going to make the playoffs. We'll go, like, the last four games to see if we, like, clinch last place. That's oh, yeah. not how you do it. Oh, no. Why are you all-knowing? Do you want us to not get the first? We got a point, though. We need that first overall pick. <laughs> I can hear the tanks already out. That's not a tank. That's like hissing. And the shitty gif he puts on his videos. Mm-hmm. It's not even like... Done. You blew it! Oh, here we go. Hey, we got 20 wins. But like we've lost four in a row. I think we clinched last place. Can we not have 50 losses in our first season? We are going to reach such ineptitude. I think we have clinched last place, though. I just think that's fair to say we've clinched last place. And look at the Burnaby Aces. They're probably even worse. Congratulations. You're even worse. Holy crap, they won't even get 20 wins. Doesn't even look like they will. They better not get fucking 50 losses. They're probably going to get 50 losses. We've already gotten 50 losses. What? Like when you How add them, lose? when we got 44 losses and 14 overtime losses, we have officially clinched last place. We have the worst record in the league. Such ineptitude. 30 seconds. Hmm. Hooray! Now let's sim all the way to the draft and hope we win the first overall pick. I will be What's choked. I'll be choked if we don't win the even the top three pick. Seattle Mustangs, the new low cow of the league. <laughs> One year in. What? <laughs> Congratulations. We have officially the worst record in probably both the NHL and the AHL. The West Coast low cow. We have really... You didn't even do his 
good as Vancouver. How did we achieve that? <laughs> we achieved horrid results in our first season. The idea was to suck, but I didn't think we'd be that bad. You didn't even have a good AHL team. We didn't improve the farm. We didn't improve nothing. We got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. It might take more than three seasons to build this team and draft. Everybody's clicking off the live stream. It's going to take us more than three years to build this team. Except all the people looking at it to make fun of it and point at it. Hey, they hit 20 wins. And they <laughs> hit 50 losses. losses. Wow. 51 points. They did worse than we did, and we've had among the worst seasons in expansion history. Did you check the player stats? or? Nope. No, you don't even want to look at the player stats? Let's do that. Just, like, look at the, uh... Wow. Wow. Fiala led our team in points. Our new acquisition Just led us. To the draft. I've seen enough. You've seen enough. He hasn't even like. I mean, Sam I'm happy Jose. Fiala's coming on the up and up. Oh wow, they finally ended their legacy of failure and won the cup. <laughs> nope. And we're picking second. We had the worst record. Who? In the entire league, in the New York Rangers pick first. Where were they? They weren't even a terrible team. They might have been. We just didn't see. Let me see this. All right, so we had obviously the worst team. We're just going to go the entire league, all right? So the New York Rangers had the 27th worst team, meaning they were the sixth worst team in the entire league. And they troll us for first overall. They're getting Rasmus Dalin, and we're not. We'd have to give them. Up. We'd have to give the entire boatload to get him. I've tried. But then again, we don't we didn't have the second round overall pick. <clears throat> Alright, so the New York Rangers, can we get Rasmus Deline to join the Seattle? Oh, went down? Yeah. Trade him before he turns into that complete shit. We'll go for a goalie in the free agency. We still have Piper. All right, here we go. Can we bring... Trade. What? That's like... You get a goalie of the future, and... Or a goalie of the future, and then a second overall pick. I mean, I'm fine with the second overall pick if we can't get him, but, like, come on. This is, like, such a good deal. Okay, I know nothing. I'm giving him so much. Nothing's gonna work. All right, same options. Rasmus Deline, blah blah blah. We gotta settle for scraps. Scraps, meaning <laughs> Shveknikov. Oh, Joe Valeno, legendary bust. Okay, so it's probably gonna have to be Philip Zadina, because That's he's like one the of next Joe Valeno. No, <laughs> Philip Zadina. I played the games. He's become really good, so we're gonna get him. Philip Zadina, the second overall pick. What a stud! Look at his hair. See, he's higher, but like... Joe Valeno, oh my god, I hate this guy. And I Jared McGuire. This is how our top five rolls. Fucking throw him. There's like nothing. Nothing. We're gonna like try and trade for like the 15th pick. So we have something to do in the middle of the first round. We need more picks. We need more capital. We're gonna take Sorella and put him toward the trade. Hmm. Put him and maybe Olsen. Not nah, Yaskin. He might actually become someone useful for the team. We were so bad that Fiala was our leading scorer. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty ugly. Not even Skepniak. Vivalainen. Shit, not that much. I just want the 15th pick. There you go. Alright, so we have the 15th overall pick in the draft. What are we gonna get? Let's see if we... Alright, so we they missed every chance to pick a good player. This is where we capitalize and pick something good. Right. Actually, we'll do the free agency as well because I'm actually enjoying this. Top four. Okay. So we can get Jet Wu, who's guaranteed to be a first round, a top four defenseman. Or we can take a risk on, like, Bouchard. Fuck that. You take Wu. Jet Wu? 
there any like goalies? Like what would be the highest goalie to be taken? I never scouted any goalies, and that could be a problem. Just a bunch of fringe starters. But I feel like this guy, Gravel, actually becomes a starter. So we might have to trade for a low first round and take the goalie. Where is he? Gravel. I think he becomes yeah. an actual starter. Yeah. He's, but he's like <laughs> second. Round, yeah, we'll take him probably in the second round. We're going to take... Hey, there we go. Should we take Bouchard or Wu? I like Wu because uh, we scouted him five times. But and he's Bouchard, exact top four. Good old Canadian kid. We're going to take Jet Wu. I mean, he's a project. Hopefully the other guy didn't turn out better. He wasn't Bouchard. Yeah, he was worse. Good. Basically the same overall. And then there's this guy. The wannabe Bouchard. All right, we're going to sim to use our pick because I don't think Gravel's getting taken and all shit breaks if he does. <gasps> oh, I thought they took Gravel. <laughs> they took the shitty one. All right, we're taking Gravel now, boys. We would have ate Gravel. Yeah, I don't know. You don't know. There's no granite joke in here. Hey, was, all right, now we got a starter. If only his name was Granite. We oh, would have taken that. Shut up. Granite. Shut up. Yes, I was looking up Granite jokes before my job interview today. Oh, you got a job interview today? Yeah, country grocer. Ah, nice. They pay a bet or something? 14 an hour. It's pretty solid. I mean, I guess it's out like the same direction as your school, so it would make sense. All right, what do we take? I'd like to pick smart in this draft. How about Dowd? Let's see what the best... But I feel like this is going to trick me. Remember, we went through this only 15 times on our previous GM. And every turn, they would end up into like a 7th defenseman. We or something. scouted him 6 times! He's gotta be at least... Oh yeah, this bullshit again. <laughs> this scout is so incompetent. Alright, fuck it. Oh my god, you get it? You him. You him. We went through this. Actually, he's got yeah, not bad value, actually. But I'm like... <laughs> It's so bad. Oh, hey, look at that. We traded Johansson. We got the next pick. Next. All right. We're not taking that sixth round of elite until at least the fifth round. We're going to be... Okay. I like tan because he's nice and tan. Or. We're taking or? No, fuck that. We're taking or. I guess we should have ignored that oh, one. Oh, shut <laughs> up. All right, we're going to trade or. We're just fucking around and just. Or we can uh, do something else. All right, we're just going to say fuck that and move on to the next pick. We've lost our uh, way here. Sort of after making a couple of DC picks. I mean, the rest of these aren't looking that good either, so, I mean, not bad. Alright, here we go. There's years where there's just like a million elites and we miss them all. Mm -hmm. and then there's years where we just happen to pick the only couple of elites in the draft. Kabanov, he's the best rated guy. Scout them zero times, fuck it. I just, I just can't draft. Hi, I'm calling for my resignation. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. Savage. Okay, I oh. see how that is. Alright. Okay, they should take Wait, wait. You want to dump a shit off on me? Take Cabana. What happened to the thing where you got players and you traded them immediately that it would trigger people? Alright, we're sending a user pick and I know we... Wait a minute, we... Oh, right, we pick... Oh, I thought that was an elite pick right after. I'm like, are you kidding me? I feel like we're gonna... 
take like a bad player and then we're gonna miss and it's like a 70 overall elite and we're like now we're just sitting there wondering what did we do wrong oh wood i think wood's a good one well i mean it okay could be, that's not bad it's not the worst pick in the world papa wood oh geez not this again <laughs> papa al not this again nobody understands the inside joke but whatever wait was this Wait a minute, what? You didn't have a fifth round pick? I traded away for... I don't know. What? I have no idea. I have no clue. Let's take... Hmm, Soderland. No. No. Here. I'll hmm. make this professional pick here. That, that, that was terrible. <laughs> Seventh pick. Wait, did we miss on that sixth round guy? Crap. How I about... We, I think we missed on that elite guy. Go by country. I'm not going by country. Go by country. Oh, there's a top nine for right there. Boom. Low top nine. And we're not offering a trade. Mm. All right, I'm going to see if that guy was actually an elite. Do you remember his name? Or... Um, I feel like... No, he probably wasn't the elite because there's like all AHL dudes here. Jesus Christ. Right, so we're going to sim the rest of the draft. GG. Let's see if there's anybody we need to re sign. Look at free agency just real quick just to see who's available. And then maybe in our next live stream, we'll try and turn this team from shit to actual decency. That was terrible. We had like the worst record, yet somehow the Rangers managed to get Deline. And we didn't. Somehow. Mer Manson wants to stay. You're going to get like 3.7. Oh boy, this is where it gets ugly. You could do the calculations. Ah. That was 75. It's 85. It's just very time consuming. We don't need the penny pinch yet. No, we really have like too much money for that. And if you don't want to stay, you don't want to stay. It's your loss. Stepniak, we would like to keep you, but you aren't interested in re-signing, so you're not going to stick around. Yeah, he realizes Fiala's going to outscore him every year. Mm -hmm. All right, you're done. Wait, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. I was going to check his stats. He was done ski anyway. I don't even think I should sign all these guys. But, like... They probably will. We gotta keep Smith Kelly, dude. He's a legend. He's like a fourth line forward at the best. Still shows the Capitals. Coon Cackle, like, why are all these guys like asking so much? Poom Poyer, like, worth that at most. Dizzleries, we'd like to keep you around. Do we still have Pitlick. What? Oh, That's Pulak. Oh, okay. I was concerned. We'll stick you around for depth, depth only. Rismissen. Just kind of sign them to whatever. I think you can actually come up to the team this year. Obviously, Backman didn't carry our team. Look at his stats. <laughs> Philip Zadina, we're going to give you an entry-level deal as well. Obviously. He'll be our young stud. And hopefully everyone resigned. With his hair. And then, alright, here we are. Here we go. Nope. Uh, uh, yep. Yep. No. No. Yep. 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 No. Yep. 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 No. Yep. Yep. Alright, so we need to still sign our big fish. Big fish, small font. We can customize our jerseys. So legit, we can like, okay, so you're going to get like, okay, 3.9. Corpusalo, you, you, Sproul. I don't even know if I want to keep you around. We have so much on the freaking team. We'll release you. You were not worth it anyway. You 
would like to keep you around if you're interested in signing for what we are willing to give you. Desluriers, you're same, you're gone. You're gone too. We're just gonna restock the shelves with good players. Very good. He's still rejected, but everyone else accepted. Manson's gonna be a tough piece of work. Screw this guy. Manson's like our best player. We're not letting him leave. Or best upcoming player. All right, we're fine. We'll give you four million for four years. That is more than fair. He's not worth four mil. I am. He. I'm expecting his overall to like shoot up next year. Give him one million. All right, I'm gonna give him exact dollar value. He doesn't accept. How I'm many years does he want? Four. Oh my god. He'll be twenty. He'll be thirty. If he, I will like, be the man to trade him for a seventh round pick. I gave him his exact dollar value. Is he a UFA or is he an RFA? He must be an R. He's a UFA. Oh my god. Five How minutes. much do you want? He's not going to stick around. We're going to have to sign an actual defenseman. Oh dear. Him. I was not. Happy with the team's success? Okay, you re you phrased that wrong. Well, for him, he didn't. All right, he's done. But what success? Fiala getting forty-five points, not yeah. even reaching twenty. All right, Manson's goals. on the market. What? How much does he want? Manson. He's asking for four point two five. <sighs> no. Like, Anybody legit, you else? are on the same ballpark as other people. You are not worth that. Cam Atkinson, we could go for if we really want to build this team. I don't know. I'd take Cole over Manson at this point. <laughs> Burkowski's an RFA. That's a one-year rental. Hey, I sort of potential. Nothing. There's, like, absolutely, like, nothing available for Holy me. Holy Ready again. Like, there's nothing on the market right now. Okay, there's a high top six, but he's 26. He's not worth it. Well, this rebuild could take a while. Alright, and goalies. The inevitable question. Okay, so we have, like, nothing for goalies. Nothing. Cam Ward. That, this has been a terrible free agency. We're going to really have to trade to build our team. Or to build to the draft. We have to actually be GM? Oh, no. No! Well, I hope you all enjoyed that. It was pretty long. But we're going to end it here. And in our next live stream, we're going to probably try and build this team year two. As we actually try and not be shit. Maybe get more than 21 wins. Yeah, it's going to be a tall task by the looks of our team. Oh, wait. Sorry, that was our AHL team. <laughs> we got 27, I think, or some shit. Yeah. Well, look at that. Just look at that as we end it. Goodbye. What?